Hello everybody, and welcome to some unusual content. Today we're taking a look at my Funko Pop collection. It has some Transformers, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, so let's begin with Gritter Deadpool. Or Deadpool that is cooking some very nice T-bone steak for you. So yes, here's his grill. There's the steak or the meat, the fire, and the fuel for the fire. It says El Pyro. Yeah, so very fiery. Deadpool's got an apron. It says, pleased to meet you. He's got a cool flamethrower, glove, and this butt is on fire. So yeah, that's cool. And he's got a chef's hat, so even cooler. And he wobbles his head. Also includes a base that falls off too easily, but he can stand perfectly fine on his own. So overall, pretty good. Uh, 10 out of 10. That's what I forgot to say now. Anyways, the next Fun Funko Pop in the line. Deadpool as Bob Ross. Here's a minifigure for comparison, in case if you want to know how big a Funko Pop is. So you have it. Anyways, Bob Ross Deadpool is looking good. He has the big paintbrush and palette. And the outfit's pretty good. The afro's very cool. And it's not that bad. He just has a problem standing. Obviously not visible here on camera. And now it's visible. That was completely unintended, but yeah. After that display of that pool, pool falling and of this scene just getting destroyed, I can give this guy a 7 out of 10. I would have gone lower because he destroyed the set, but 7 out of 10 because he's very unstable. He also wobbles his own. So 7 out of 10 on that guy. <laughs> Next up we have Captain Underpants. Remember those books you read as a kid? Probably. Well, here he is in Funko Pop form thanks to the movie. He's gotten a bit dirty over time, but it, I guess it does make sense because, I mean, nobody would stay stark white from being on your underwear and some and some cape made out of a towel all day, you know? So yeah, the big smile is really cool. And he looks super funny. I like it. A lot. 9 out of 10 because he's gotten really dirty. Okay. Next up, here we have a Pokemon. This is Flareon. An evolution of Eevee. And this one looks super cool and very interesting because it's a, like animals, like another one more we'll show in a minute. So yeah, this is very nice. It's got all the details, those that Flareon has, and the tail is one of the best parts of it because it just looks so cool. And it's very nicely made, very solid. No head wobbling or rotation, unfortunately, but. At least it looks great. So this one gets a 9 out of 10 because no no head rotation but very solid overall. So 9 out of 10. Next up we have Nearly Headless Nick from Harry Potter. Somebody who would like to blend in with the background we have today. Is he Nearly Headless though? Eh, uh, not exactly. His head is just lightly tilted at an angle. Like, I've seen Funko Pops with more tilted heads than this. But yeah, it's not bad. It looks nice. He's got that very classic outfit or that, like, medieval outfit that some of the Harry Potter ghosts have. And the, the clear blue just looks really cool. Imagine putting this under a flashlight or putting a flashlight under this thing. It will look super cool. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Alright, next up 
we have the man who destroyed half of the universe, Thanos, from the Marvel movies. Oh, and this is the other Funko, the Marvel Marvel Funko Pop I have, aside from the Deadpools. So yeah, he's based on the Endgame version, where he's all defeated, his gauntlet has no Infinity Stones anymore, his head is all burned up from the use of the gauntlet, his shoes are gigantic, and most of all, and the coolest thing, you can remove the hand. And here's Thanos' hand. It's probably the size of the minifigure. Let's see. Oh, wow. His hand is the size of the minifigure. Almost. Wow. I guess you can say Scarecrow cut off his hand. <laughs> so, yeah. This one is gigantic. Let's compare him to another Funko Pop that we've taken a look at. So here's next to Deadpool. Wow. Now you can say he burned his face. <laughs> so we're all really cool looking Thanos. And his head really wobbles well because of how big it is. And the sculpting and the painting is really good too. So yeah, Endgame Thanos is a winner here. 11 out of 10. Oh. So yeah. Now let's take a look at, okay, something Transformers, all right, all right. Bumblebee from Age of Extinction. Who doesn't love Bumblebee? He's very cool. Cool, he's got all the details from the CGI model, or at least most of them. But he's got one secret feature that you never saw in the movie. Oh man, you can split him apart like Darth Maul, dude. Darth Bumblebee. <laughs> so yes, Darth Bumblebee here gets a 10 out of 10 for that feature alone. No wait, a 20 out of 10. So as of now, the king of the Funko Pop Cup is Darth Bumblebee, receiving a 20 out of 10 because when you split them in half. He's double the fun. Alright. Next up. Here we have. The most boring one. Oh, 337. If she could only split in half, right? <laughs> I'm kidding. So anyways, this is from Solo A Star Wars Story. It looks kind of boring and when I first got it. It, the stand, the base had this like residue that was really weird, but thank God now it's now all that's gone. But yeah, this one is just ugly. I don't really like it. I mean, it looks good as a Star Wars droid, but can't get it off the base, can't do anything with it. The head wobbles, okay, but. This is a nothing Star Wars character, unfortunately. So, 1 out of 10. We may be generous and give it a 2 out of 10. But yeah, 2 out of 10 for this one. Very boring. So after the boredom caused by that Funko Pop, we're going to enter the realm of fun with the T-Rex. From Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park. A very cool dinosaur figure, but if you don't have him on the base, he'll probably fall. Yep, exactly. So he needs to be on the base, but at least this guy sticks to his base. There. And looks very nice, very well painted and sculpted. And it doesn't look as bad as other Funko Pop. Of its kind. But yes, this one is super cool and a great display piece. Now it's having a meeting in the minifigure. Like he does eat, eat other uh, guys in the movies. Ah, it looks perfect. Anyways, and something that is perfect is the serving of a 1 million out of 10. 
or 10 out of 10 would recommend. Next up, we have Darth Vader. The first Funko Pop I got. Ever. It wasn't even this guy. It was this guy. Very nicely detailed. He's got all the buttons and switches from his belt. Even the, the control panel here. He's got his lightsaber, which is very cool. The outfit is very, very nicely detailed. The helmet is detailed as well. Very reflective. Only problem is fingerprints get all, get all over it. But that's typical of most toys. And as you see, his head wobbles the best out of them all. So like if you really want a real bubble head, this is the one to go with. Darth Vader. And you can remove him from the base and make him look really nice as well that way. Though he is a bit smaller now. So yeah. Very cool. Oh peace. To tell all your figures and fungal pops that he is their father. Okay, so psh, oh my hand no. You must understand, Optimus Prime. I am your father. No! And that's how he Prime fainted. The end. Just kidding, that wasn't the end. And since Optimus Prime entered the scene, he is up next. So Optimus Prime, like Bumblebee before him, is based on Age of Extinction. So that's why you see the very radical design change to his character. But you know what's even more radical or different? Is that he's mostly blue and silver. There's barely any red on this guy. But the details are all there, which is good to know. Or see. So there he is. And here he is next to Bumblebee, or Darth Bumblebee, the alter ego of Bumblebee. So yeah, that's very cool. And yeah, they look great together. There is a drift as well from this collection of Funko Pops, but that one looks ugly. There's a stinger repaint of Bumblebee, but that one looks way uglier. But yeah, these two. Pretty good. I'm gonna have to give him a 10 out of 10. Well, probably we already said he's a 20 because he stopped with the fun. Prime, a 10 out of 10 for his uniqueness. Next up, we bring in Spider-Man forever, for, who, for whomever needed pictures of him. So this is Spider-Man from Infinity War in this Iron Spider suit. Looks pretty good. He's got the spider legs or arms, the four extra he has, the web shooting hand, and the suit is very well painted. Really cool. And yeah, very cool Spider Man. Though he is a bit unstable, as you see there. He's kind of hard to stand. He's like a stormtrooper figure I have. Not one of these things, but like a stormtrooper for a three inch figure that has weird legs or feet that don't let him stand normally. But yeah, the head wobbles, it's pretty good. Eight out of 10. Finally, oh, just kidding. Almost finally, we have Ahsoka Tano from the Clone Wars, probably based on one of the later seasons and you may have seen her in recent Star Wars media like The Mandalorian and Star Wars Rebels. And overall, she looks pretty cool. Her head doesn't wobble as much as the other guys, but overall, she's really well painted and sculpted. And it looks super cool. Super, super cool. Put her next to a, a character, the, 
very with a lot of significance like Darth Vader and these still look amazing so yeah 10 out of 10 for Ahsoka Tano all right now finally we bring in the Lord of Destruction the Harbinger of Death Megatron from the 80s so this is the more recent Megatron Funko Pop based on the 80s toy all except missing that one detail the G1 had the trigger being the crotch of the robot this kind of reference here with the back kibble also he's got the the gun barrel there so like if you thought it's blasphemous that you can't see it well, you can see it on the back. This fusion cannon is attached this way where it's like a like it like like kinda like a watch here sort of deal or like a strap or maybe not. He's got an open hand and to to grab cool stuff from from you. So like maybe this stud shooter. Well, anything that fits works. <laughs> His eyes are red. He's got the eyebrows. Mm -hmm. He's got the Decepticon logo, which is a bit off center, but doesn't look noticeable. He's got the chest details, the red within him, which is nice. The black parts. Overall, he looks super nice. And another very high quality Funko Pop. Like, you need this in your Megatron collection. Like, this is a good prime, but it don't beat the classic style. Like, this prime, you could skip on your collection, but this Megatron, he has to be in it. So yeah. Very cool looking Megatron. I love it. Very evil looking, and... It's so Megatron. So yeah. Infinity out of, out of 10 for Megatron. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the review of my entire Funko Pop collection, which somehow has creeped into my Transformers collection. Slowly but surely, because if you collect long enough, Funko Pops will start rising from places you never know they would rise from. The end. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Goodbye, humans.